Okay, we are recording. Here we have the recumbent tandem bicycle motorized, which can be pedaled. Fully adjustable seats. Subaru Robin 35cc engine with a friction drive uh, movement for the uh, rear tire on one side. This is the Subaru Robin EH35 35cc gas tank choke switch down here to engage right now it's in the off mode engines not running engine hasn't been started yet you would steer from this side left side would steer other side is stationary with a front brake independent pedal operation on both sides our shifting is capable from here on each side on the right hand side of the handlebar on each full front and rear brake on the left side the rear brake assembly was disconnected to in order to put the mounting for the um, engine over here I guess a disc brake could be put on I have a light on the back in case you're going to use it at night I have a mirror that you can use to adjust if and when you ever need it. Uh, I put the, I built this bike, put most of this bike together probably about 15 years ago. And then after a couple of years realized that uh, a little hard on the hills doing pedaling. So I incorporated the engine to help me on hills. Now, if one person is using this, it's, you know, fully fully capable of taking one person. When you actually make a left hand turn you just gotta watch because it has a tendency of lifting up on that one side which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Um, other than that it's really pretty easy when you want to start it. You would go underneath here there's a little priming ball that my finger is on that you would press this a few times maybe four or five times with the choke knob in the up mode choke off is down choke up is on and it's indicated by the markings on the side of the air cleaner cover I'm going to turn the switch in the on mode and I am going to give it a start the engine is now running <clears throat> I recommend only putting in high test uh, the highest octane fuel because that tends to be the best fuel to use. Also, um, I put a fuel stabilizer in case it ever sits for any period of time. The fuel will not separate. Um, adjustments for the seating is right here on these rails, right here. So I got the other side all the way in the back mode. And uh, what we're going to do here is show you the throttle. I'm going to release the choke now that it's been running for a little bit. I let it warm up for about three or four minutes. Let it warm up. So uh, this is the start. Since I've had the bike, this is this tire here is probably the this is the third tire in 12 years. And you can see this tire was from the beginning of last season, and it's still doing pretty good. Or you can just switch them. Tire here tread is very good. Tire tread on here is still very very good. Gas is pretty much fueled up. Let's see if I can get this to. Uh, to run now. All right, I am on it. My feet are on the pedals. I'm gonna, I have a brake lock right here, which I can 
hold the bike still while it's in the park mode. I'm going to start pedaling. And I'm going, I'm on the flat now. So it's really pretty good. Engine's running. Okay, I am not pedaling at all. I am now. I am under full uh, engine power. Come on, yes. Engine's running. I'm slowing down now. I'm going to take a turn here. How you doing? And we're underway. So. We're underway, okay. When you're going up the hills, I recommend you're gonna pedal it just a little bit, but the engine definitely helps it out, helps out a lot. I'm not going fast. I'm probably doing about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Stop over here. Making sure our choke is fully off. Alright. I'm going to take it up a small incline. Not even what I would call a hill. I'm pedaling a little bit. effortless for me to go up this hill, this small hill. And I'm under engine power, I stop pedaling. Taking around this next turn. And we're going. I'm underway. just a lot of fun. Now, I'll take it up to a, I'm going to take it to another hill that I would say two people would, would, would actually struggle um, pedaling. You know, I'm, I'm in seventh gear right now which is supposed to be the lowest gear and hardest to pedal. And as it gets towards number one, it gets easier and easier. So I got a better hill going here. And two people would be in first gear and uh, you wouldn't be able to do the speed that I'm doing now. So I'm gonna, when I come to the stop site, I'm going to have to stop because this road here is... Uh, Wide, w widely traveled. <laughs> 